Are you okay? You need a hug? What's up everybody? Welcome back to Nostalgia with Be Poetic with 80s, 90s, and 2000s vibes. You know the vibes and I'm with the team. Today, I wanted to talk about the holidays and the specific holiday I'm talking about is Thanksgiving because it's November and we have all been waiting for Thanksgiving for the food. If you have not been waiting for Thanksgiving for the food, maybe your family just can't cook but find a friend who family can cook because Thanksgiving is that holiday where you can get all the good eats, okay? So today I wanted to talk about some Thanksgiving traditions that my family has because I'm not sure how many other people can relate. And I'm also going to talk about a 70s movie that came out that's a part of my Thanksgiving tradition that I think a lot of y'all might know about in comparison to another movie that's like that movie. You will know what I'm talking about when I get there, so let's get into it. Every Thanksgiving, my family starts with breakfast. I know a lot of families don't eat breakfast, like a lot of people don't eat before they eat Thanksgiving dinner, but we have a traditional Thanksgiving breakfast and it consists of this coffee cake. So my mom growing up, I don't know where she found this, coffee cake but it's not like cake you could just go to the store and pick up it's like a special order situation and like she heats it up to like the perfect temperature and makes bacon and pair it with it and then we have orange juice or kool-aid whatever drink choice it's got to be like fruitful though and that's our breakfast so we're normally good with that up until I want to say like 12 o'clock but in my family, Thanksgiving dinner is done, I kid you not, at maybe like three in the afternoon. Like we eat early so that we can get our second lunch, supper, I don't know, get our second plate around like five and then eat again around like eight and then eat again right before we go to sleep. So that's how my family does Thanksgiving breakfast and like the actual Thanksgiving meal. The reason that my family's food is always done so early is because the cooking starts the day of we don't like to like do prep stuff because we don't like to leave stuff sitting that's just how we work we don't like the air to breathe on our food while it waits it's weird I know anyway <laughs> we start at four in the morning on Thanksgiving day and get all of like the big things that are going to take forever to cook get those prepared and made and everything and then do all of the like tedious things. I have always been in charge of, I'm like the sous chef that cooks the dressing and what else? I'm, I'm in charge of dressing potatoes, um, sweet potatoes and like we have these special potatoes. I can't, can't tell you about those, but they are special potatoes that everybody, I kid you not, everybody wants some of. So if you don't know me, I'm sorry. They fire. If you know somebody that know me, just ask them about them. Just, just, just ask them about those potatoes. We get everything done and around three when we're able to eat, we also like to watch this movie. The movie is a remake of another movie, but with a little, little flavor. And the movie that I'm talking about is The Wiz. The original movie is The Wizard of Oz and then The Wiz came out and I'm, I, I tried to compare both of them. I don't like The Wizard of Oz. It's creepy. It's, I just don't, I, I couldn't connect with it. I did not like it. But The Wiz, The Wiz is a Thanksgiving movie is because when you watch the movie, I don't know if you noticed this, but they are having Thanksgiving dinner. Like they're having dinner in the movie. This is a movie that we either like to play while we're cooking or after we're cooking so we can enjoy it and like clip the newspapers for Black Friday. So this movie 
I really wanted to mention this Thanksgiving because I don't know if everybody watches it the way that we do every Thanksgiving. So here are a few facts about the movie that I'm not sure everybody knows about. The Wiz cost, and this is a crazy number to me, The Wiz cost $24 million to make. And given the cast list, I can understand. The cast list consists of some greats. So let me just read off a few for you. So you really get why $24 million was the budget for this movie. First off, the movie consisted of 650 dancers, 385 crew members, and 1,200, 1,200 costumes. I couldn't even imagine having that many clothes, but a costume that's like top bottom shoes. I couldn't imagine having that much stuff anywhere, but that's what they had. That's why it cost so much. And then the greats that were in the movie, of course, were Diana Ross, Michael Jackson, Lena Horne, Richard Pryor, Ted Ross, Nipsey Russell, Mabel King, Teresa Merritt, Thelma Carpenter, and Iman. That is like the most star-studded cast list I've ever seen in a movie. The next I would say is probably Harlem Nights. I think Harlem Nights had a, a, solid, a solid cast. But The Wiz is a feel good movie it's a musical it gives you lessons it gives you the same lessons of the original wizard of oz but the wiz provides a relatable feel it's like a feel good it's like you are you can connect better with the characters if that makes sense well i can and i don't know if it's a culture thing i'm not sure but it's like a connection that you have with them also because they're artists that a lot of people looked up to they are all versatile artists they're all relatable artists that a large amount of people were enjoying at the time because they were very diverse these artists could tap into comedy music dance everything and now that i'm talking about dance i don't know if y'all have seen the dance sequences in this movie they found some of the best dancers around the world to be in this movie. And you can tell, like you can tell the quality that went into the pickings of the dancers that they decided to use in this movie. The movie also is glitzy, but real at the same time, if that makes sense. There's a lot of light work. It's just an amazing, an amazing movie. If you have not watched it, please watch it. If you don't like it, I don't know why you don't. Like, if you don't like The Wiz, please drop it in the comment section below and let me know why, because we need to have this conversation. We need to have a therapy session because I don't, I, I think I've had one person that said that they didn't like it and it's because they just didn't like that type of movie. Like, they didn't like The Wizard of Oz either. They didn't like in either one. That's just not, it wasn't their, their thing. I guess they didn't like musicals. I don't know. But if you don't like it because it's not a good movie, are you okay? You need a hug? From as far as I can remember, this movie has been a part of my Thanksgiving tradition. And another movie that's been a part of my Thanksgiving tradition is also a remake. And it leads to the next holiday. This is a movie that we tend to watch either at the end of Thanksgiving Day or the next day when we put up the Christmas tree. And it is The Grinch with Jim Carrey. That, <laughs> that movie is hilarious. Love that movie. And that is a part of the tradition that I added on. Um, my mom added The Wiz, that's how I grew up on it. And then when Grinch came out with Jim Carrey, I was like, no, the, this is the one like this this is the one so the day after thanksgiving leads to my next favorite movie but that is a few of my thanksgiving traditions along with the traditions the following day we also go black friday shopping um if there's anything that you know we want to physically get 
And if we don't need to physically like touch it and try it on or whatever it is, we wait to Cyber Monday. So that's the trick. If you've never shopped on Cyber Monday, you might find better deals on Cyber Monday than you do on Black Friday. That's all I'm gonna say. And it's all online. It's some in store, but it's mostly online. So you don't have to fight with nobody auntie over a TV. It's not necessary. Those are a few of my Thanksgiving traditions. I wanna know what do you guys like to do to enjoy time with your family or other people's families if you you know, decide to go to like friends' houses or what, whatever. What do you like to do on Thanksgiving? Like what's your start to finish to have a good Thanksgiving? And no one wants to have a crappy Thanksgiving. So I highly recommend planning where you go and what you eat because it's important whose house you visit first don't visit the person's house first that has the not so good food because by the time you get to the person's house that got the real good food it's probably gonna be gone it's, yeah so plan your day accordingly so you can have a great thanksgiving but drop in the comment section below how you like to th celebrate thanksgiving how your family celebrates thanksgiving and what you think about the Wiz? Should the Wiz be a part of your traditions if it already is not? And if you don't like that movie, you gotta let me know why. Like I have, we, we gotta talk. It's a talk that needs to be had. But as always, thanks for joining me today on this first Sunday of November. Have a great Thanksgiving. Make sure you subscribe to 80s, 90s, and 2000s Vibes. Channel is down there. Click, click that button. If it's not gray, Make it gray. The red one, make that button gray. If you also are not following us on Instagram, be sure to do that. Like us on Facebook. Everything is 80s, 90s, 2000s vibes, just like the channel. As always, have a good one. You can follow me on all of my socials, on my personal socials. Hit your girl up. Say what's up. Say hey. I like to talk to people. And I'll see y'all on the next one.